Hey everyone, David Shapiro here with uh, another video. Um, I'm making this video because there are a lot of you that are new to my channel. And what you might not realize is that I've actually written three books on this stuff. Um, and so what I mean by this stuff, I mean large language models uh, and using them in cognitive architectures and also um, in order to solve uh, the autonomous machine problem, otherwise known as the control problem. So first, I'll just take you through in cognitive order. The purpose of this video is just to introduce you to my books and show you that they are available for free online. So Natural Language Cognitive Architecture um, is about, this is my first book, so I wrote this right after I got access to GPT-3. Um, and what this does is I outline some of the basic principles of how to use language models in an agent architecture. Now this architecture, uh, the people tell me that they still get a lot out of it. There's a lot of prompt engineering in this, uh, demonstrations on how to get what you want. Uh, but keep in mind that this came out before the current instruct aligned or codex aligned uh, models. Um, so this is all done with few shot prompting. Um, then I talk about loops, looping things, accumulating knowledge, retrieving knowledge. Uh, keep in mind that some of this is already dated. Some of it is already very much out of date. Uh, but there's still a lot of very helpful ideas in natural language cognitive architecture. I also have a lot of potential use cases, ranging from entertainment to AIDS to legal, um, medical, uh, robotics, uh, home security, all sorts of stuff, uh, business aids. Um, there's all kinds of use cases that I outline and kind of show here's how a cognitive architecture, specifically a, my natural language cognitive architecture idea, could plug into this. Um, you might also be, you might also know about cognitive architecture because of a recent paper that Jan LeCun published. Um, this one's better. Uh, so I'll just leave it at that. Um, yeah, so that's, uh, that was my first book. My second book is Benevolent by Design, which uh, is about the controlled problem. So the subtitle is Six Words to Safeguard Humanity. So the purpose of this is um, what happens as, uh, as you have machines that become more and more autonomous. Uh, when you have a machine that can think anything, as large language models can, they can be racist, they can be sexist, they can be violent, they can be pacifist, they can be egalitarian. When you have a machine that's capable of thinking anything, what are the what are the guardrails that you give it? And so in this case, I propose three guardrails that are interlocked. Um, one is uh, reduce suffering. Number two is increase prosperity. And number three is increase understanding. If you set these as the core values, the core purposes that, that a machine um, uses, that machine will hypothetically be stable and safe for all eternity. Now in this book, I propose one, not just these principles, but I also propose um, the systems that you need to implement them. I also show several, quite a few experiments showing how resilient these, uh, these principles are. And also I, I outline the fact that you can get very complex emergent properties from very simple goals. Um, so yeah, take a look at this book if you want to understand how to build um, an autonomous and safe uh, AGI super intelligence. Um, it's coming. It's coming sooner than anyone realizes. And uh, as far as I can tell, I've solved this problem. Um, no one has come to me and said, this broke. I broke it. Um, and in fact, I have a YouTube series where I tried to break this on multiple kinds of models. I used open source models. I used more recent GPT models. Um, and this paradigm seems pretty, pretty resilient. And then finally, Symphony of Thought. So Symphony of Thought is, um, this is one of my top works. Uh, this book is about uh, orchestrating artificial cognition. Um, and so, in fact, that's the subtitle, Orchestrating Artificial Cognition. So rather than think of it as a single uh, so uh, let me take a step back. This is like the next iteration of natural language cognitive architecture. The architecture that I propose in this one is far more elegant and also far more flexible. It's simpler to implement and, and, and easier to understand. Well, easy, it's easier to implement. You have to see it in action to really get it. Um, and there's a lot of complexity that goes into it uh, in, in terms of orchestrating different microservices that are all interacting with each other uh, in various ways. Um, but, and the, the, so I have not fully implemented this yet because it will be ludicrously expensive to do so. Um, large language models are still prohibitively expensive to run this, but I have 
the, the, the foundation. I have the groundwork laid. And so as the cost of these models comes down, um, I will be revisiting this and implementing it. And so you combine these three books. Um, there's a few things that are not solved uh, by these books. Number one is long-term memory, excuse me, which I will probably be revisiting soon. Um, in my previous books, I made a note that like solving machine memory deserves an entire book unto itself. So maybe that'll be my next one. Anyways, these are my three books. All of them will teach you about prompt engineering. All of them will teach you about thinking in terms of artificial cognition and cognitive architectures. Um, and it'll also address uh, the philosophy and ethics about why, you know, like what's, what's going to happen, but also the, the, the moral reasoning behind some of these decisions. Um, again, no one has, has messaged me and said, you're absolutely wrong about this. Anyone who's actually read my books cover to cover says, you've got it. You nailed it. Um, so if you, if you do it, the only people that have disagreed just looked at the, uh, the name and then just wanted to start arguing like a, an armchair philosopher. Um, so I don't engage with those people anymore. If you have not read my book, don't talk to me about it. If you have read it, I'm happy to hear what your thoughts are. So that is that. Thanks for watching. I hope you uh, get a lot out of these books. If you want to find them, they're all free. Um, GitHub.com slash Dave Schapp. If you want a paperback copy, they are also on Barnes and Noble. Um, uh, and they are, they're cheap. The margins I have, I make like 30 cents per copy. So I'm not trying to make money on these, um, but I do want to get the knowledge out there. It's super valuable. I think that I have solved some really critical problems. And uh, I want to live in a world where we have intelligent machines that abide by my core objective functions or heuristic imperatives, because I think if we do that, we will be fine. Thanks for watching. Take care.